Right, when I bought this machine, this planer, it didn't have a guard. And I lived with it for quite a long time. Just being really careful not to get my fingers anywhere near it. But somehow, a few years ago, as I was lifting the wood, I got my finger, this blade here, caught my fingertip and dragged it across. And I was lucky. Can't really see, I've got some scars on there. There's a picture on Facebook of the cut. But I was lucky. So, I made myself a little wooden one. It sits in there. Just keeps my fingers out of the way. But it's a bit crap. But it's sunny today. And I've got the day. So I went down to the machine shop, down to my local metal workers, got some bits, got a solid bar, that's a bit of tube I had, but it's getting squished. So I've got some solid bar, that's going to go in there, I'm going to see if I can make a solid metal one. So I've got from them some 3 inch plate, it's about 6 inch by 10 inch. I'm going to see if I can give it a 45 on each end just to give it that, that shape help stiffen it a little bit I don't know if I'm going to bend it though so I've got some quite basic tools, I ain't got a metal bender this is a sheet of 5mm that lives there with all the junk I drag it out and clamp the earth to it it's a good base to have something to work to see if I can bend this without spoiling it piece of sapila, piece of oak give them a go Hmm. That worked better than I thought. <laughs> Pretty straight as well. This might be too wide. I've decided to cut an inch off this. These are good. Um, chalk, I can't remember what they're called. I'm going to cut that much off. I do have a face shield for when I'm cutting metal. It's old, I need a new one, can't see that well out of it. I'm quite lazy when it comes to goggles and what have you, cutting the wood. But metal, you really don't want a piece of metal in your eyes. They don't grow back. So I'm quite super strict about that. chalk line before I bent it so that I can gauge it.
Oh, I'm quite happy with that. It's very stiff. It's a little bit out. It's alright. That's all I need. I'm going to cut a little piece of steel. About that long. Drill a hole then weld a nut underneath. So that I can get a knob on top. This thing, I'm going to cut a groove in it, slot in it, so I can slide it back and forwards. I've dug out the evolution mat, so I haven't used it much, so I'm going to see how it goes with this bar. It's 3mm bar. But I've already noticed there's a tooth missing somewhere. Anyway, plug it in, give it a go, see how it goes. I'm going to use this clamp. I'm only cutting one, so... Face mask on again. square as I'd like. It's set square. Don't know what's going on there. I think it's that tooth missing. Just juddered a bit on the start. Anyway, don't matter. Quicker than cutting it by the angle with the angle grinder. Alright, little welders come out to play. See if I can remember how to do it. It's been a while. Ooh. I've ground off a little bit. It's covered in nastiness, this. Ground off a little bit so I can get a good earth. And then, I've got copper wire wrapped around here. Apparently, it makes a better contact. I think it does. I can go on there. I'll ground this a little bit. Just taking the edge off. So I can get some welding there. Cleaned up this. So I'm going to weld that. Like that. I've got some of... I can get you in picture. I've got some of these little mag clamps. Hopefully they're going to... Help me out a lot. Clean the table up a little bit first so I can get a good contact. Need a different disc. I think you can get some like, cone ones. Don't know. No, I haven't done any welding for quite a long time. I've done a bit, but every time I do it, to me it's new. Right, not bad. Bit warm. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go for it. I've got it on the pipe, on the bar. I missed.
getting a bit better. Don't know whether that's because the metal's getting hot. Right, really not pretty, but it's welded on there, I think. And it stayed pretty straight as well. It's got a very slight bend in it, I think the heat's warped it a little bit. Slightly kicks down a bit at the back there. Don't know if I can straighten that. Still a little bit there. I'm going to live with that. Uh, I want to cut a slot in this. That's good to take it. Right, I'm going to make that about 15 mil, marked it out. I'm going to drill a hole at each end first. Drilling metal. Start a little bit, work your way up in bits. Three point five. This is five mil. You don't want to drill fast. I ain't got a good bit, but this is ten mil. I think it'll be alright. And this is 13 mil. It's the biggest one I've got that looks sharp. Now cut them out with angle grinder. I've got this little tool, works fine on the sheet metal on the van, but Let's see if we'll cut these bits off. grind a little bit out of there, it looks like it kicks in a bit. I'm going to cut a piece of this off cut that came off the edge of it, so that it fits in that groove. And it only has to just flow. Oh, it's the same length as that. Ground that little piece, I've cleaned one side up because I'm going to weld it. I just need to clean the ends up a bit. But that just. It's a little bit of play, but I don't mind that. It just slides up and down in there. So that, that plate, 
is going to get welded onto that. And I'm going to clamp that on there. Slightly rounded off the edges just so that that, that thing hopefully will slide a bit easier. I've drilled a little hole. I'm going to see if I can puddle weld that. Get a little spot weld, whatever you call it, in there. And then just going to put a dob on each end just to hold it in place. And get it central. That'll do. Tiny little clamp. I'll get a weld on each end, take the clamp off, I can do that middle one then. Right, uh, welded that on. It's hot at the moment. See me welds getting a bit better. Put a spot weld in the middle. You can hardly see that. You can't see it at all. This is going to go like that. I'm going to drill it there. Put a knob on top. I was going to put it underneath, but I didn't. I've got a bolt here. I'm going to weld the nut underneath and make a plate to go on the top. This bit's 8mm. I wanted 9mm so I got a bit of clearance, but I have to wiggle this a bit. I'm going to weld this nut underneath. So I'm going to bolt it on. Right, that nut's on. Bit of dodgy welding. Blind man would be happy to see that. Right, I need to clean it up a bit, but going to be a washer to go on the top. Goes on there. That's going on top. That goes on there. Put the washer on first. A bit stiff. Might have got some bogies on the thread of the nut. Right, got an 8mm tapping bit here. I should clean the oil out a bit. So that's 
a new blade. Isn't that old actually but I'll get a new one. But it's not bad to say it's got a tooth missing. Right, happy with that. Not even gonna run the grinder over there, I'm quite proud of that. I've got a sanding disc on there. And I've just put a bit of a flat on there so when the bolt goes on it doesn't twist. Or if I catch it it won't twist. The bolt will go hard up against there. I also ground down this a little bit. And I've run the sander over this. There's no sharp edges anymore. This is the nut off the machine. It goes into the into the arm, the leg here. So I'm gonna I wanna put a put an handle on it. I'm gonna weld that to there. Put my magnetic thing on there. Put me put my earth onto that. Hopefully that'll be alright. Clean the top of this nut up a bit. Uh, ground this back a little bit so I can get some welding there. Something like that. I got it. Hot. Hello. Bit more dodgy welding, huh? See how that flat bit pulls it, pulls it straight, watch. Bit sharp, but I'll never have to go right over that.
I don't think that will bother me. Because the old one had this big knob on it. That's rubbish now. Cool. That was a good day. Lots of dodgy welding, but I guess practice makes perfect. And I've obviously got a lot of practicing to do, but it works. It should save me fingers in the future.